Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my March favorites video. March was a very, very busy, busy month for me. It always is. March is the month of my birthday and my wedding anniversary, and Cameron actually wasn't here all month, but he is going to be home in six days. So, March was a good month, but I think April is going to be an even better month. But I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about a couple of products that I've really, really been loving in the month of March. And make sure you let me know your favorite products in the month of March in the comment section down below and we can just all chat about our favorite products. Also, before I get started, I just want to mention really quickly that also in the month of March, I got sick as well as celebrating my birthday and my anniversary and everything. So that's why my uploading schedule has just been absolutely ridiculous. I haven't been uploading every Monday, Wednesday, Friday like I always used to. It's just different, weird now because I live at my parents house with my dog but without my husband so it's like it's just I have to film around their schedules and my schedule is just I'm, I'm trying my hardest to film and edit videos as much as I possibly can but please bear with me during this sort of like transitional period in my life I would really appreciate that and thank you guys so much for all your sweet comments you guys are always leaving comments on my Instagram and my YouTube videos and everything letting me know that you hope that everything is going smoothly which just means the absolute world to me you guys are so so sweet so thank you so much for that and without any further ado let's go ahead and get into the products that I've been loving in the month of March okay so firstly I want to talk about a bronzer that I've been using for several months already I probably could have included this in my favorites last month I just really wanted to I don't know make sure that I recommended it which I don't know why because it's, it's really good and it's really not that expensive it is the pressed powder bronzer by Colourpop this is in the shade private party I was hesitant to add this into my favorites and I don't know why because if I ever have a bronzer that I reach for over my physicians formula butter bronzer you know it's a favorite. This is different from the butter bronzer in the sense that it's warmer and it's a little bit shimmerier. The butter bronzer is a little bit more neutral toned on my skin and it has a sort of a like a natural looking satiny finish to it. This is a little bit more glowy of a bronzer. It's also incredibly warm. This is the bronzer that I'm wearing all over my face today. I have it on my temples, my cheeks, my nose, underneath my lip. This is definitely a very warm bronzer if you want to look nice and bronzy and summery. This is your guy and it's also incredibly inexpensive. It's ColourPop, it's very blendable, very pigmented, and I highly, highly recommend it. I still use my butter bronzer all the time. It's just a matter of like what I'm going for, what I feel like wearing. Do I want to be nice and glowy and warm and tan and bronzy? Then I go for this and if I want something just a little bit more subtle, a little bit more natural looking, I go for the butter bronzer. Bronzer. And this is a solid like half the price of the butter bronzer so and it comes in the sort of pot but it also comes with a compact that you can pop it in if you don't want to keep this in the palette or whatnot so that's also another plus. I also want to talk about a face wash really quickly which I feel like is kind of hard to impress me with a face cleanser and I'm not entirely sure why I'm just kind of one of those people that's like I love my purity made simple and anything else I'm pretty much just like indifferent about I don't mind it it's not bad but it doesn't blow me away either this more so blew me away it's the Carez Greek yogurt foaming cream cleanser I got this sort of deluxe sample size in one of those little Sephora favorites kits. It was like a dry skincare routine and I was highly impressed with like all of the products that came in that box but this one probably mostly because I kept this in the shower and I would just use it to wash my face every time I took a shower and it's like empty now. And I do like it enough to purchase the full size which the only high-end cleanser I feel like I've ever really felt like was worth it was Purity Made Simple. This is phenomenal. This stuff smells incredible. It's great for dry skin. It does doesn't irritate my eyes it does say to avoid like direct contact with eyes but I will run it over my eyelids and it doesn't sting or anything like that a rich indulgent foaming cream that removes effectively impurities makeup and mascara without irritating formulated with soothing Greek yogurt and natural cleansing agents for excellent tolerance by the eyes and skin soap this is just so easy. It's a very creamy consistency, but it's almost like a little bit on like the gel side. It does feel like a cream, but it's a cream that kind of foams up, but don't let that scare you if you have dry skin because this does not dry out my skin. Not at all. It makes my skin feel nice and clean without making it feel stripped or tight or anything like that. But I definitely will be purchasing the full size. I've just been trying to squeeze like every last drop out of this that I possibly can because it's, it's really good. I want to 
to talk about a primer which I was on the hunt for this primer as soon as I moved home because I couldn't find it anywhere overseas and I always knew that Kathleen Lights was a fan of this primer it's the NYX Angel Veil and I love to try anything that she recommends especially now that my skin is a little bit on the drier side because she is also a dry skinned girl and I always knew she was a fan of this I knew she used it a lot but I didn't remember anything specific that she ever said about it until I rewatched one of her videos I think it was her primer collection like the more recent one that she did where she was talking about like the storage and she went and said that she thinks this is better than the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, which is like a hundred zillion dollars. The Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer is a cult favorite, I feel, but I stand by my word. I think the NYX Angel Veil is better than this one. I feel like they do the exact same thing, so why pay more for this one when you can get this one? I don't know. They're both really incredible, not gonna lie. I was like, okay, I need to get my hands on this, please and thank you. The Hourglass Primer is much more thin in consistency. This is like a cream and it's, it's much thicker, which kind of scared me with dry skin. It's basically, it's called a skin perfecting primer and it says oil free, which I appreciate because I do have very acne prone skin and anything too oily will make me break out. It claims to feel ultra velvety and really light, which I agree with both of those claims. It's very velvety, it's very smooth, which almost makes it feel like it doesn't go very far. Like I feel like sometimes maybe I have to use a lot. It's so light that I feel like it's not really distributing all over my skin, but I used this several times. I didn't really think anything of it. I was like, yeah, cool, whatever, it's a good primer. It wasn't bad by any means, but I wasn't blown away by it either. And then I didn't use it once. And then I said, holy crap, that is my new all-time favorite primer. When I use this primer and I bake my smile lines, I hardly crease here anymore. And this is my problem area. I always, always, always crease in my smile lines. This does a great job of filling in that line and it really minimizes the amount of creasing that happens throughout the day around my nostrils and in my smile lines. This also minimizes my pores. It's not super dewy so it doesn't make me oily throughout the day, but it doesn't completely mattify me either. This is just, if anyone says, what's your favorite primer? recommend to me a good primer and I didn't know their skin type I didn't know what they were looking for I would say go for this one because it really is skin perfecting it just makes a nice smooth canvas it feels really cool going on the skin because of that like weird velvet texture that it has I think it does help my makeup last all day it minimizes my pores here in this area and it minimizes creasing throughout the day so this is a good one all right, so I had to include this in this video because this is the only high-end foundation I've ever tried. This is the only high-end liquid foundation I've ever tried. And when I first bought it, probably two years ago or more, I didn't like it at all because that was before I really knew much about makeup and I just figured that if Kathleen Lights loved it, then I would love it, which is true now, but it wasn't true then because I, I had cystic acne and very more normal to oily skin and this is not for that. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. I purchased this in the absolute lightest shade. Several years ago, I applied it with a brush. I couldn't stand it. You could see brush strokes in my foundation. You could see every bit of my acne peeking through because this is not full coverage. I repeat, this is not full coverage. This foundation is not cheap. So when I purchased it, assuming it was like a full coverage foundation that was good for my skin type, I was very upset. But now that my acne is a little bit more tame, it's a little bit more under control, that's a lie, it's a lot of bit more under control, and I don't really need as much coverage, and I have drier skin. I do still get oily throughout the day, but my skin is more on the normal to dry end of things now. This foundation is light but buildable coverage. In my opinion, it's light. A lot of people might say this is like light to medium coverage, but I still have stuff to cover up, so I say it's about light to buildable coverage, but my favorite thing about this is the finish. It's such a beautiful finish. It looks like skin. I don't need to set this, which I am a person who I set my makeup no matter what. Even though I have drier skin, I always, always set my foundation. And with this, if I set it, it's probably just in like the cheek area so that I can blend stuff on top of it without worrying about it, you know, separating or moving around or anything. I love this because of the finish. The finish is phenomenal. If I bake it with my RCMA No Color Powder, I don't get creasing in my smile lines as long as I use it in conjunction with this primer. And it looks like skin, especially if you don't set it with powder. But it does work with powder. 
You can set it with powder, you can not set it with powder. I like to apply mine with a sponge because otherwise I will get like brush strokes. It's very lightweight. Half the time when I'm wearing this, I forget I'm wearing foundation. It's so lightweight. That's how you know it's good and that's how I knew I had to include it in this video is because I bought another bottle. This is my second bottle. I went through my first one, which was a shade lighter than this one and it did make me look a little bit washed out. I feel like I look a little bit washed out on camera right now, but I'm also not wearing this right now. <laughs> All I have on right now is that Makeup Revolution, the concealer. That's all I have on right now. But anyway, I'm like a major bargain shopper. I, I like to save money. I like to buy makeup, but I like to save money. If I spent $43 on this foundation, that's how you know she ain't playing. Lastly, I have a lip product to talk to you guys about, which I think I even told you in that haul that you should be expecting this in my March favorites video. These are the e.l.f. lip oils. I have two shades. This one here is Nude Kiss and this one is Pink Kiss. I'm wearing Nude Kiss on my lips today, but I do actually prefer Pink Kiss. I'm more of like a pink person. I don't know. It's still nude to me, but it's like a pinky nude. These are so, so good. These are a lip oil that is very lightweight. It doesn't feel like thick and cakey on my lips, which I appreciate. It's a very lightweight oil that has a little bit of a tint to it, which makes it perfect to just throw in your purse. I had to go grab Pink Kiss out of my purse to film this video. I keep this in my purse because it's so moisturizing, but it kind of looks like a gloss on the lips, which I really love because then it doesn't look weird with a full face of makeup like I'm wearing right now, and it doesn't look weird when I literally have a completely bare face. I can still put this on and it doesn't look weird, which probably has a lot to do with the fact that they're nude shades. They do have a couple of other colors that are like brighter, which those might look a little funky if you're not wearing any other makeup, but definitely these two shades, it doesn't matter. I could have a full face, I could have no makeup on, and these look beautiful either way. They're moisturizing, they have a beautiful glossy finish. They don't last very long at all because they are an oil. That's kind of, I think what they're meant to do is soak into the lips and really moisturize your skin on your lips, which I appreciate. So this is great for your lips. It's very nourishing and hydrating, but it also looks good. And they're only $5. I want them to come out with like 100 more shades because I think they only have four. But that's it. That's everything that I was absolutely loving in the month of March. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine. And I will see you guys next time. dumped my coffee all over my face. All right, just two more. Oh, did I get it on my sweater? Brand new white sweater. I just spilled coffee on it. Brick. Oh. If I'm about to spend, I'm like a major 